Hi, I'm Nick from Sulfate Labs, and I will show you how to install the Sulfate browser extension. So if you go to sulfate.com extension, you'll be able to find the landing page for the extension itself, including the link to the GitHub open source repo. So from the page here, you can click on the GitHub link, which takes you to the GitHub repo. You've got two options for installing the extension to your browser. You can either build from source using Node.js and Yarn, and uh, you can do a git pull or download the zip file for the entire repo itself. Or if you go to the releases page and go to the most recent release, which right now is just the very first one, and you can download the zip file that's inside of here, which will have just the uh, build files themselves. So if you download that zip archive to your computer, and then you can go ahead and open it up in your preferred zip editor, or rather zip archiver. In this case, I've just got 7-zip. So extract the build folder from inside the archive into anywhere on your own computer itself. In my case, I'm on my desktop inside of a sulfate folder. And then in back to your browser itself, you want to go to the browser tab page for Chrome extensions. In this case, I'm using Brave Browser, which is uh, you know built on top of Chromium. So from inside the hamburger menu, you can go to extensions. And then you'll need to enable developer modes, that way you can load an unpacked extension. So click on the developer mode icon or toggle at the top right corner and load unpacked. And in the file pop-up that you get, go ahead and browse to the folder that you extracted and you have that initial build folder. You need to make sure you select the entire build folder as the select folder. Once you select that, you'll have the extension will pop up inside of your browser itself and then you'll be ready to go in order to start using it. You can test it out if you just navigate in your browser to sulfate.sol or any other .sol domain that you want. should load up right away and you'll see the extension in action.